Ogbash is a livestock guarding breed from Turkey. These are one of the best watchdogs and are part of the national dog breeds of Turkey. They are also flock guardians in their home country, but these days they have been used as family companions too. And while the breed has many good qualities of a pet dog, they are not the easiest ones to live with. If you want a calm and confident dog that is the Ogbash at their best, you gotta do a lot of homework to train and socialize them once you bring them home. So to help you with that, here's a list of top 10 interesting facts about Ogbash that you probably didn't know. Now before we start the list, we'd like to take a moment to express our thanks to all the original Akbash owners on this video. The video would seriously not have been possible without them. So don't forget to check out these amazing dogs from the Instagram profiles that have been linked in the description below. And now, let's begin the list. Number 1. Their Origin The Akbash dog is an ancient breed native to western Turkey's plains and mountains. Only a little is known of their origin, apart from the fact that they were bred by villagers and shepherds to guard livestock from wolves and other predators. Although the breed is the Turkish counterpart to the other guardian breeds native to the northern Mediterranean basin, Ogbash is the only breed to have the distinct combination of Mastiff and Gazehound characteristics. In the 1970s, Americans David and Judy Nelson began studying these dogs, importing more than 40 Ogbash dogs to the United States. These imported dogs became the breed's foundation stock in both the United States and Canada. In 1980, the US Department of Agriculture also took interest in the breed and included these dogs in the Predator Control Program. The United Kennel Club recognized the Akbash in 1998 under the category of the Guardian breed. Number 2. They are all white. Flock guarding dogs are almost always white, so as to blend in with their charges and give them the element of surprise when a wolf or a thief comes calling. The Akbash is one such dog. This is a livestock guarding breed and has been chosen for their white color to match the flock so they are not mistaken by the shepherds for predators, most of which are dark. This is part of the reason why all Akbash are mostly white with perhaps a touch of biscuit color, especially on the head. Now this also gives the coat an off-white appearance. Their double coat is weather resistant that helps them withstand any cold weather conditions. The coat is also coarse and free of doggy smell that many dogs have. Number 3. Their other physical characteristics The Akbash is a long-legged, lean, and muscular dog of imposing size and strength. Their general appearance demonstrates great courage and stamina with an alert, regal bearing. These dogs are slightly longer in proportion than their tall, and they have a wedge-shaped head with pendant ears. The long tail is usually carried on a curl over the back, especially when the dog is moving or excited. The breed represents a very rare and special mixture of Mastiff and Gazehound characteristics. The Gazehound influence is apparent in their long legs, deep chest, shallow longer jaw, and speed and agility while the Mastiff's contributions can be seen in the breed's height, weight, broader head, and overall impression of power. Gender differences can also be striking in this breed. Typically, the male Akbash is proportionately taller and heavier than the female. Number 4. They are the perfect guard dogs. Akbashes are the dogs that are bred to be suspicious and protective. These pups are highly intelligent and although they don't have explosive energy, they are quite agile and strong if they sense danger and need to act. They are also very suspicious of strangers including dogs they don't know. And although the breed is not overly aggressive, when it comes to protection, they will growl or bark at anyone if they sense anything amiss. So if you want a watchdog and a guardian who will alert you to anyone that might approach your door, you can't do much better than the Akbash. Number 5. They are independent dogs. Out on the mountainous terrain, Akbash dogs would often have to function on their own without any human guidance, making independent decisions while tending their flocks. Their self-regulating streak is still strong to this day, and they are fiercely independent as pet companions too. Although affectionate, these dogs like to have their own space from time to time. They usually don't have any separation anxiety with their human counterparts, so make sure you give them some space and let them be on their own once in a while. The breed also is not naturally fond of other animals and may prefer to be solo pet in the household. Due to their independent nature, it could also be a challenge to train these dogs at times. Number 6. They have low energy level. Ogbashes are not particularly active dogs. Puppies are very active, but their activity level does become less as they mature. Also, these are not dogs bred to run all day. They would much rather patiently sit on the hillside watching their flock. This is part of the reason why with their low energy levels, Ogbashes are easily prone to weight gain. Make sure your dog gets at least one good half hour to an hour long walk per day with a few good active play sessions mixed in. A day at the park or at the beach or just playing frisbee in your own backyard are all outstanding things you could do with your Ogbash. These activities will make them physically active and also reinforce the bond between you and your pet companion. Number 7. They are not naturally good with children. You may be interested in Ogbash as you may have heard these dogs get along well with kids. 
They do when they're full grown, but they certainly don't come ready-made to live nicely with children. Agbash puppies are mouthy, meaning that they bite when they play and they play pretty rough too. These are big, strong puppies and not soft, sweet stuffed dogs. They can knock small children over without a second thought. This is why it can take two to three years of careful, thorough management and training, especially during the first year before an Agbash is ready to spend time with small kids. Also, along with training your canine, it's also always a good idea to teach your kids how to treat your dog from a very young age. And no matter how good you think your dog is with your kids, make sure you always supervise their play. Number 8. Early training is a must. To get a calm and confident Ogbash that everybody loves, you gotta be dedicated to spend a lot of your time in training them from a young age. Begin training as soon as you bring your Ogbash puppy home, while they're still at a manageable size. Your 20-pound ball of white fluff will quickly grow much larger and will test to see what they can get away with. So it's always a good idea to take your Ogbash to puppy kindergarten starting when they're 10 to 12 weeks old. This must then be immediately followed by basic obedience classes. Many Ogbash breeders recommend a Nothing in Life is Free program that requires puppies to work for everything they get by performing a command before receiving meals, toys, treats or play. This will help you build a strong working relationship with your dog. Number 9. Their grooming needs The Ogbash can have either a short coat or a long coat. However, both varieties have a thick undercoat that does shed excessively. These dogs experience shedding throughout the year, with extreme shedding during the spring and summer when the dense undercoat comes out for the hotter weather. On normal days, you will need to brush your pup once a week to remove loose hair and dirt from their coat. But when the shedding is excessive, you gotta brush them daily to prevent their fur from matting. You can use a pin brush and a metal comb if your Ogbosh has long haired and a natural bristle brush if they are short haired. The rest is just basic care. These dogs don't need to be bathed often, so only 2-3 to three times a year using a mild shampoo is enough. And since their ears hang down, they will need to be checked weekly and cleaned as needed to prevent infections. Their nails should be trimmed as needed, generally every 2-3 to three weeks. A routine dental plan should also be followed to ensure that your dog has healthy teeth and gums. Number 10. Their Health Ogbash can make great pet companion, however, they need ongoing care and attention to guarantee their health. While most are generally healthy, some of these dogs may be prone to a few health issues. In the Ogbash, possible health problems include hip dysplasia, epilepsy, a heart condition called dilated cardiomyopathy, and a common hormonal disorder called hypothyroidism. The breed may also be prone to gastric torsion and umbilical hernias. So it is important that you keep up with regular vet checkups for the detection of any health concerns early. Your vet can also help you make a care routine that will keep your dog healthy. Alright folks, that's it from us on our list of top 10 interesting facts about the Ogbosh. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you already own one of these loving dogs, don't forget to share your experience living with them in the comments below. Please leave a thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. For more interesting facts on different dog breeds, click on our channel and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.